All right, welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Aiken and this is Saving Your Disaster Campaign, the Meat Grinder episode 6. And it's a little bit loud, but we fix that. Much better. So today we're going to New Brazil for Operation Icebreaker. Um, we have built up quite a healthy roster and got the two first colonels. So today we're going to do a little bit of a different mission, therefore we're rescuing another VIP for a scientist. And you might wonder why is I not running any of the colonels that he's <clears throat> just uh, freed up. Well, I want to make sure that we're leveling up as many of the other soldiers as well, so that uh, the guy from um, Reddit will have an easier time uh, once he comes back. So I'm deliberately taking lower level units. We got one of each class our spark as well as another sniper with us um, noticeably we got the wrath suit equipped first and foremost so we should have the ability to go to high ground as well and yeah that's really it pretty straightforward let's see how we're chewing through the 11 enemies and uh, hopefully we'll get the intel all right, we landed and we start. No, we are not starting with with a VIP. We're actually required to extract him, which means we have concealed start even better. And it's probably quite a few turns. Yep, twelve. So plenty of time for us to get our shit sorted out. That's a nice little high ground here. But before we take any high ground. Let's move Spark002, who now earned his name. He's called Dragoon. Love it. That's a pretty fitting name. Snake Eyes will accompany uh, Dragoon. Essentially taking point. Got a tower there. A few mutants and a codex. Nothing completely All over it. difficult. Both of our snipers will take high ground here. I would like to go up all the way up to here, but unfortunately we're just shy of movement. Affirmative. Gotta be careful with Dragoon. Don't want to be spotted out. But look at the armor. That's actually quite impressive. With all of the armor upgrades, including the bulwark, we're at 4 armor. It's pretty damn good. Alright, moving forward. I think what we're going to do is... We could assassinate the codex. I think that's a good start. That'll trigger death from above. Only the best. We're visible here. Both of the mutants will just run for cover. That's fine. They shall run for cover. Were to use a plasma grenade, that'll resolve all of our cover issues right there. Probably the best um, bang for a buck. Could have moved, um, but I didn't want to push any further. Be sure there's another pack. Good. Let's see, our death from above has, um, has triggered, so let's go with lightning hands. By the numbers. Well, we crit it. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest, I wanted to go, uh, go lightning hands into the normal pistol. Ah, the 
Dragoon moves up. Again, we're, we don't want to trigger anything. Taking full cover and a flanking position. Let's get rid of the Muton. And let's get rid of the power. Good. I think we can Not even move up, uh, move up with our sniper. And Snake Eyes will just remain where he is. I don't want to trigger anything else. So we killed a pack of three plus the tower. Let's grab the loot. Mutant is unfortunately not a very high-profile loot target, but an Illyrium core is fine. Nice. Exactly what we were looking for. Sector port out in the open. Easy target. Good. So, in terms of the sector port, one thing that we can do is we could use our shredding gun. Let's move into cover. Oh, that would be pretty damn good shredding um, gun, removing all of the cover. But we gotta deal with the sector port first. And in order to do that, we're overdriving. Shredding it. Why is he always having a problem with his rocket launcher? Well, I can't reach him with a rocket launcher. So let's try to go for another shot. It's good enough. lightning rounds which if we already had fan fire moving up and just shooting plus um, uh, using lightning hands and fan fire uh, would be a straight-up kill but since we do not have fan fire yet <clears throat> might as well just use the normal shots them hit. Here I come. So we got dynamic beacon over here just for security um, measures. Lovely. Just what we were looking for. Fortunately, no more cover to hide behind. So, I could take a, a risk, move up and take a shot, or we're simply using the Mimic Beacon, which is the 
far more secure uh, way of dealing with the situation. Both of them will move up and we can easily execute both of them. He almost hit his friend. Hilarious. Good, we're continuing really himself, to go forward. Well, I should have reloaded beforehand, that was stupid. Let's double check the hack just to see if there would be a facility lead. Yeah, we're going to take that hack with our specialist, of course. Just for the sake of making up for my mistake, it's time for the fist. Out of explosion range, but a little bit closer. There's the promotion. We're moving up. This is grapple range for the high ground. I'm on the tower. On it. And let's move everyone move, move, move. into solid cover. Got it moving. Good, so that's another pack. Three, six down plus Good the tower, seven down. Just a tiny bit. Position confirmed. And let's try to get the facility lead. Very important to uh, to actually get those. Uh, fifty fifty for reinforcements. I'm taking the gamble. Yeah, it is what it is. The facility lead was pretty damn important. Sending more of their grunts after us. Let's do this. Good, we're simply going to um go into Overwatch. High ground, reload, and Overwatch. Not a problem. If you're wondering why I'm uh, doing pistol Overwatch instead of uh, sniper Overwatch, the sniper has a built-in uh, built negative for Overwatch shots that are uh, that um, are too close. So, actually having a pretty low chance of hitting it. The pistols, on the other hand, should have a decent chance of hitting. How many is that now? Nice guardian triggers. I'm so happy that I skilled it. Because uh, the sidearm never runs out of ammunition. Which means as long as she hits, she can go on and on and on. Fortunately, that probably broke the game. Oh, come on, XCOM! Well, she's taking a couple of extra shots at the moment. I don't know though 
why the AI would take that long. <laughs> Finding new ways of breaking XCOM 2. You would guess that if you allow snipers to have Guardian, that they would expect that you're using a pistol to overwatch. So either program it in a way that Guardian is not triggering with your pistol, or reduce the amount of shots that it can take, but this is ridiculous. What's happening in the background, at least that's how I interpret the situation, the game uh, calculates how many shots uh, theoretically could be taken, and since the sidearm has quote unquote unlimited ammunition, it figures that there is no solution, uh, so it continues to calculate. I'll try to get back to the main menu and uh, rejoin. Good, we are back. Literally, in the turn uh, before all of that happened. So, I'm trying to just replay the sequence of events as accurately as possible. We moved up there, tried to hack it. And sorry for the replay, but Sometimes the game just doesn't have it. It's blocking me out. Detecting additional hostiles inbound. All right, Let's moving up. Ready. Moving up. I'm going. I think I moved up, so I'm she wouldn't get any overwood shots. The only thing that I'm doing a little bit different this time is since we do have Guardian on Aftermath, she's actually going to Overwatch with her Sniper, which hopefully does not break the game again. Alright, nice shot. Good, one down, two more to go. Let's continue our march. And we're going to remove cover, of course. Plus, we're going to kill both of them with our sniper. There we go. We might even earn a promotion. Putting the second sniper in position. And other than that, we're actually dashing over here. more cover. I don't like... Oh wait, uh, the mech itself provides cover. So that's a cover for the spot right there. Fire's getting close here. Do we have another grenade? Yes, we do. We could open a hole right here. Or we're simply entering 
up here. Alright, that's the last pack. Good, let's give Dragoon an A protocol. And we are getting in position. Tired of waiting around. We're going to enter next turn. Taking the overwatch shot, but with our aid protocol, I'm pretty sure that uh, there's no problem with that. We could wrath. Just right into the cell block. <laughs> I like the idea. Alright, Aftermath, Overwatch. We're just uh, creating a nice little Overwatch trap here. It's mind control. Get out of my head. Unfortunately, our overwatch is really poor. turn I could have used uh, the Mimic Beacon. We were in a tough spot though. Getting rid of the mech first. Shouldn't be triggering overwatch here. Any overwatch shot. Yep. Because we do have shadow step. Pretty solid hit. I like it. Yeah, we might trigger Overwatch, unfortunately. Oh, wait. Not with a mechanical unit. We do have blue screen rounds. That would be hilarious if we kill our own spark. Let's take an easier approach here, which is reload. Demolition in the sky. By the way, also destroys indestructible uh, cover. And there we go. Absolutely. 
Moving up. We got two shots. And we even got a teamwork ability. Adjusting sights. Alright, easy enough. That should be a hit. Hmm. Maybe not. Or driving. And that's the first hit. Doesn't seem all that difficult to me. Overwatching game. That is an overwatch. So that when the priest moves, it should trigger the overwatch. There we go. Efficiency is my speciality. Good, time to head out of here. Back online. Let's do this. Just double checking that there's no one on the rooftop. I think we cleared the entire area. Allow us to hack. Hacking? I suppose some things have a change. There we go. Let's see what the rewards are. I like the lead, but 4% is probably a bit too ambitious. We're not even getting the 39%. Good. That's one. And two. And three. And Snake Eyes takes point. VIP begins to run as well. Interesting, we get another wave of reinforcements. Up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Moving to position. Here I come. What's over there? Okay. Good, so everyone's in position. Just taking a nice little overwatch here. to beat them, but it certainly is advantageous to kill at least one or two of them. No. Not if no one hits. Good. I moved the mech right onto the uh, extraction zone. That way we can take a shot. I'll need to reload and get out. On my way. By the numbers. Roger that. Let's do 
this. Good. In terms of this guy over here, he deserved nothing short of a nice big fat explosion. See you later. Get out of here and we're trying one last kill. Come on, focus. I forgot that there is a chance of a retaliation shot. Who's keeping score? That's why I would have used the grenade on him, of course. Gotta think about those dark events. There we go. Mission accomplished. Well done. Alright, and we landed four promotions. That is awesome. Bullseye, our sniper, gets death from above. Dragoon. Either can choose Intimidate or when overdrive is active um, we can break through walls or cover i like the wrecking ball to be honest the intimidation is also fine but i don't even want to be in a situation where we're getting um, attacked a lot the other question is what would uh, the person from reddit benefit more uh, from so i personally would go for wrecking ball Intimidate is not bad if you're being shot at regularly. Yeah, let's skill it in a way how I think it would be correct. We're going to go for Revival Protocol, definitely. Need more than one specialist to keep everyone alive. And we're going for Run and Gun because it's such a strong ability. Nice. Very nice. Got an Alarium Core. Um, Molly Harris, I think that was a scientist. Yeah, and some intel. A scientist is meaningless at this point. Let's remove the existing negative traits. That, on the other hand, is very helpful. We need more Alarium. And finally, on the strategic layer, we can start collecting a bit more. Uh, the grenade and the uh, ammunition, something that I still want to get, but this here is more important. Frost Bomb, pretty good. What do we want to produce next? I think the skull jack could uh, be meaningful so that we can continue on the gold pass uh, missions. Unfortunately, we're short of supplies at the moment. Spider suits aren't bad either. I would probably go for a wrath uh, suit though. We're only missing uh, supplies. We do have one more sniper, or we do have a lot of snipers actually. Uh, at least one more sniper that needs a wrath suit and our uh, psionic uh, begins to get all of the great skills now lands next which is just such a good skill Soldiers took some hits during the most perfect we got ourselves another colonel and let's take a look what else we can do i think we could recruit a skirmisher they've decided to come serve on that ship of yours um should we put into that
Uh, I think we could use Axel here. Yeah, getting a skirmisher a colonel is nothing to take lightly. We got a second Reaper colonel. Bones is his name. Let's start promoting him. His special abilities are tactical rigging, which is really nice, an extra slot. Uh, Dead Eye isn't bad uh, because you want to. Uh, deal a high amount of damage with the single shot and holo targeting is actually also not bad so we're starting with remote start we're going for shrub now we're definitely going uh, for highlander we're going for sting we're going for silent killer kind of the the absolute standard and needle because he did, uh, he needs to go th um, and cut through arm or banish and now the question is, um, what else do we want? Um, we could take Tactical Rigging and Dead Eye as two options. Or we're going for Homing Mine. I mean, this here opens the option for, um, for ammunition, which is fantastic for her. Tail and rounds are really strong for him, sorry, it's a nail. Um, so yeah, I think we're going, we're going for that. I like it. Good. Three kernels, one major. Getting there, Saiken is... Slowly but surely repairing the disaster campaign. The results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating. The science is eager Good. To Continuing to research the pad that will give us some more intel, which we will need quite a few. And look at that beautiful AT Alerium. That is awesome. We're just requiring more supplies now. We got 120 up there. Let's get the grenade. <clears throat> the supplies will stack up with the uh, income from next month. So I'm not terribly afraid of waiting a little bit longer. If need be, we have the black market. And we do have a retaliation mission because uh, they absolutely do not like what we're doing. Hence, it's yet another quick mission in New Mexico. Elite Purifier, Shield Bearer, Lancer, Trooper, Officer, lots of Advents, but also Viper Berserker. One Sector Pod. And a codex, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's almost no duplicates. Probably two berserks or three. Uh, I'm grateful to see that there are no chrysalids. Setting course for sector eight. Which Mexico. is refreshing. And yeah, this here is going to happen the next uh, in the next mission. I'll take some time and set up the troops. Uh, thank you, as always, for watching. If you enjoyed uh, the content, feel free to leave a like uh, or subscribe to the channel. Uh, that would be much appreciated. Take care, guys, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.